Hey, hey, welcome to Fantasy Smack Talk. I'm Dustin, sitting here at Nameco. This video, we're going through tiers one through five for the all-important starting pitcher position. As always, get on the homepage, check out our cheat sheet, all our other tiers and rankings, and get in those forums. Brent, hit him with tier one. Uh, Roy Holiday, clear-cut number one in our mind. It seems like he's going to be a lock for a 20-game win. A ton of strikeouts, get it right. Can't go wrong with him. Next on our list, we have Felix Hernandez. He only won 13 games a season ago, but that's not his fault. He had a 2.27 ERA. Obviously, with some run support, we expect those wins to go up. Next, we have Adam Wainwright. You know, this guy's really disrespected, we feel. He seems to always go a lot later in drafts than he should. Draft him confidently as your ace on your team. And then rounded out this tier is Tim Lincecum. You know, he didn't obviously didn't have a great year last season with above three ERA, but where you can get him in the draft, it might be a great gamble if he goes back to those 09 numbers. Take a look at tier two, we start with John Lester. You know, he's kind of up and down last season, but at the end of the day, well over strikeout per inning and solid numbers all the way across. Next, we got David Price, this giant of a pitcher, had a great year last year, really came into his own. Strikeout totals aren't quite there yet, but you gotta love that sub three ERA. Moving on, we got Clayton Kershaw, awesome year last year. This youngster, we're expecting big things from him, over strikeout per inning as well. We expect him to be a top 10 pitcher. Next, we got CC Sabathia. He gets so much run support. Look for him to have another 20 game win season. And the last guy in this tier, Cliff Lee. He's been a little all over the place in his career. He just got paid. We bumped him down in our list. We think he's overvalued this year. We're not expecting huge things out of Cliff Lee this year. Tier three starts off with Justin Verlander. You know, this guy seems like he's a lock for 200 Ks every year. We expect more of the same this year. At number 11, we have Josh Johnson, solid year across the board, 2.3 ERA. Then we have Matt Latos. This young pitcher was an all-star a season ago, and we fully expect his numbers to be pretty much dead on this year. Then we have Tommy Hansen, also another youngster that we really like, and this guy's got great stuff. If he puts it all together, he could be a sneaky ace on your team. Next, we have Ibato Jimenez. Obviously, Jimenez just had a ridiculous first half of the year. Second half, he came down to earth a little bit, but you gotta love that potentially. Obviously proved it in the first half. At number 15, we have Liriano. Obviously that Tommy John surgery isn't a concern anymore. He had a very good season last year and we expect his numbers to be even better this season. Let's take a look at tier four. We start with a couple of brewers. First one, Zach Grinke. He's got that new home out there. Terrible year last year, but hopefully his new surroundings will help him bounce back. Then we have Gallardo. You know, great, not, overall not a bad year for him. You know, great strikeout totals but his whip is just way too high. He's gonna have to get that down in order in return to get his ERA down as well. Moving on, we got Chris Carpenter. You know, had another overall solid year. You know, we're not expecting huge things out of him, but a repeat performance is definitely not out of the question. Then we got Cole Hamels. It's overall solid year, over a strikeout per inning. Didn't get much run support, so hopefully his win total from last year will, will improve. And the last guy in this tier, Brett Anderson, had a lot of hype coming into last year and he lived up to every bit of it. Look for him to build off of his numbers from last year. Tier 5 starts off with Jared Weaver, obviously a breakout campaign a season ago, but his batting average for balls in play was pretty low, so we're just going to be a little cautious on him. You know, we really think that the strikeouts are going to be there, but that 3 ERA, not quite sure that's going to be there. Next we have Max Scherzer, obviously this kid's got great stuff, he's shown flashes, so a ton of upside, and rounding out this tier is Dan Heron. Didn't have a great year a season ago, with all that being said, whenever he's pitching well, we know what this guy can do. So that's tiers one through five. Check out the rest of our tiers for the starting pitchers as well as all the other tiers and rankings videos. And we got the top 100 on the homepage. Also, March Madness this year, it's on our site. So check that out and get, those, get in those forms and let us know how your drafts have been going. I'm Dustin, this is Brent. We'll see y'all later.